bro, how the hell is it going to be March 15th and snow five inches? I was going to go on a walk today. But that ain't happening. Yesterday, I walked in the snow and uh, regretted it. Uh, so today, we're not doing that. <laughs> anyway, last time Brenda picked up our faithful companion, Zora Fairchild, who doesn't really seem like she can actually do a whole lot, but that's okay. Um, we're still trying to figure out how to help Falkreath because, yeah... Um, you know what? Wait, giving a gourd to that other guy counted as aiding a citizen. We need a woodcutting axe. There's got to be one around here. I, just, I have to check. Right, like... Not that I really need to be a thane. But there's got to be a woodcutter's axe around here, right? Right, maybe up top. I mean, we can always fast travel the Riverwood and grab the one there. Which I guess we'll, we'll do really quick. I'm going to laugh so hard if this is, this is just like, I just have to sell firewood. And then the people accept me. Oh no, dude, the, the way the shadow was on that dragon's chest made it look like it was like a fucking shiny black scaled chest. That looked hella cool for a minute. Um, yoink. Hello. Chop. And we'll see if this does it, because if it does, that'll be funny. I'll laugh. I'll laugh at how overcomplicated I made things. To get ourselves some firewood, it is, um, it's 5k gold to get our house, so I think that's what we're saving up for. I guess it's not even to get our house, it's to get the plot of land to build our house on. Um, you know, I'm alright with that. I kind of wish that there was uh, some more complexity to the house building in Skyrim. I remember it being fairly simplistic. But, uh, yeah. Should be a little bit further into the day here. And that we've fast traveled around a bit. See if we can't talk to that one dude's brother. Sell him some firewood. I can't but yes. I... Hmm? Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume that that doesn't actually... It unless we, we just sit here chopping wood and that, that completes it. It just it baffles me that giving that guy a gourd progressed it. Or maybe it was us doing the, the thing for... I don't know. Oh, man, I want to look this up, but I might. Really? Really? <sighs> I was fucking right. <laughs> She'll buy firewood. And that progresses it. Be mindful. Enemies and deers. Both are everywhere. Oh, not against me, against all of Last night I saw Rod the blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Lord's house and get that right. Good. Sure. Sure. Um, I guess. I guess. What is this? Uh, you think a blacksmith would have better security? Well, while I'm here, why is a blacksmith got weapons and armor in his basement? Suspicious. All right, now we leave. <laughs> okay. I thought it was going to be locked. Oh, shut up. Here's Laud's letter. Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the imp 
vampires making love. Good work. Take this. You may have seen the open grave. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor. Dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. Oh. My family has entrusted with keeping him buried. <laughs> but recently, though too late for the war to come, Vigar must be destroyed. Good. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Hello. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? No. I've helped your people. The Blade of Fulcris. Uh, a silver greatsword of special quality with a history of defending Falkreath Hold. What the... The Jarl has appointed me to be your house carver. It's an honor to serve you. Okay. You look badass as shit. Alrighty. So... Oh, we can even enchant the Blade of Falkreath. Nice. Well, we'll have to buy a house soon. We have enough gold. Maybe today we build our house. We became Thane. Why not? I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl... Yes, it's a fine property. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your study. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. Alright. So now we own the uh, own the property. I said we were gonna save up money for it. We already had enough. I mean, six hundred gold extra. Who cares, right? But now, up the road to the east. Are we headed the right way? Yeah, Lakeview Manor. All right. No wonder it was 5k. It's a manor. Uh, I think this is something that they added with SE, right? Is like house building and stuff like that. Or maybe it was a free update for Skyrim. It's kind of funny to me that like... But they still just kind of put out content for this game. I guess I don't blame them. It's sold enough for them to warrant just kind of putting devs on things. and I will say, you know, I, I wish that the, the content creators for modding and stuff got paid better but hey if you guys you know ever like mods and stuff supporting them directly is the best way to you know um like support them <laughs> that's a poor way to say it but just giving them money directly is the easiest and the most effective way to support them directly um oftentimes you know I personally don't like doing, uh, like PayPal, or not PayPal, uh, Patreon and stuff for content creators because I feel like it's a little manipulative and that people will often forget that they even have, you know, <laughs> PayPal or, uh, God, why do I keep saying that? Forget that they even have the Patreon, uh, subscribed and... You know, while I understand that, like, you have to make a living every month doing what you're doing, I feel like, uh, also, I think Patreon takes a large sum of whatever money you put into it. So, I don't know. Just if somebody has, like, a tip cup or something, I'll often do that instead. There's a locked chest here. As a long tangent, just to say, support the people that you enjoy, you know, the content from. And I'm, that's, of course, by no means saying, oh, support me. I have, here's my PayPal in the description, send me money. I just sit here and play video games on a YouTube channel. But, uh, you know, I, I do believe in supporting the content creators that you consume. Um, all right, so here we are. There's a stone quarry here. There's our drafting table. We have to buy lumber. Small house layout. What is that noise? Mud crab!
<laughs> That's probably overkill. Who cares? It's funny. <gasps> Ninroot. <laughs> um, so there's a pickaxe here. We actually, I think that means we have two now. Um, which is fine. Dual wielding the picks is probably the fastest way to. House making time. And for the walls, we need four clay. Uh, you know what? Before we do that, let's look at framing. Okay, okay. Some nice, nice big pieces of wood. We'll go ahead and make our house walls. And then, you know, hey, we got, we got the walls. All right. Roof framing. Okay, okay. I wonder if there's been any mods that use stuff like this for uh, that sort of thing. And now we just need to be able to make a lock really quick. Okay. Alrighty. The Lakeview Manor. So, it's not much, but uh, you know, it's um, not much. Oh, we can put that in there as well. Um, we need a good way to make some money. Uh, enchanting stones are expensive. Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and go to Dragon's Reach. Ah, yes, this is one of the mods I got. It just changes enchanting tables to have a much cooler aesthetic. Okay, that's all that done. Let's go finish selling things. Uh, there should be a merchant right here. Belthazor. For sale, my friend. Everything. Take a look. Do come back. You know what we about it, though. I'd even. What do you think you're doing? No more. Are you? There we go. <laughs> I have to remember what buttons to press because I don't have actually actually have F keys on this keyboard. I think that's it. Some. I think we're gonna go to Riften. Sneaky Mage style. And just do the Thieves Guild quest, because why not? Could also opt to do the Dark Brotherhood quest after. Become a vampire. I don't know if we want to do the vampire thing, because we already eat people, and that is not very good for us, huh? But that is alright. Okay, so, uh, to the stables. Now that we've cleared out a lot of our inventory. We're a lot lighter on the pockets. Done. Let's make the guards get mad at us and then make them back off. Before I let you into Riften, you need for the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Keep your voice. This is obviously a shakedown. Alrighty. So. Never worked an honest day in your life for all that coin, eh, Loss? I don't know you. I don't know you. Just passing through. Well, I got new. Last thing the Black Briars need is something. Last thing the Black Briars need. I'm Maul. I'm Maul. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. Got any dirt on this? Is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. Guess you'll fit in around here so better than I thought. Uh. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. Find Brynjolf. Someone like you. Got Maven. 
She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild. So basically, no one can touch her. Damn. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. Huh. Do I look like I'm get in good with them and you'll find her? Alrighty. The only thing I heard he used to live here in Rifton at the orphanage on the other side of town. But I well, think thank you. Way. That's the most cooperative he's ever been. What did you want? I've I've never gotten him to say anything other than you're a piece of shit. Kill yourself. <laughs> in game. In game. Um, right, I was about to do the Thieves Guild stuff. What the fuck? Why are there just three guards Careful. sitting here? If you know any two sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windfell. Nobody's going to join the Stormcloaks, you racist bastards. I'd rather join the people who are racist against vampires. They're way more fun. Especially when you come back as a vampire and force them to question all of their beliefs. Imperial dogs. Imperial dogs. No. Never done an honest day's work in your Oh, yo, Brynjolf got a fucking glow up, dude. <laughs> Holy I'm shit. I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. It's all about sizing up your modlocks. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh yeah, my sister's closing her house today. So that's cool. Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. I didn't know he had that line. Huh. Wealth is my business. Help me out. And I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? So responding to a Discord message. Hmm. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Bran Shea's pocket without him noticing. Which is really going to be funny because our pickpocketing is dog shitting. It's like 16. Now, you tell me when you're ready. Hey, what are those leggings? I want those. Those are cute as hell. I'm ready when you are. Oh, that is actually some great. Get away from me. Mule the lioness. You're a stranger here too, huh? Tell me. Oh, she's a, a black friar, I'm assuming. I've never seen the old this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Hmm. Okay. Please. Please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Okay, lass. Ready to make some coins. Yeah, let's Good. get this started. Wait until I start the distraction. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. I can't take this place anymore. The trees. All the colors. What colors? It's like so bland here. Bruh. How am I supposed to do this with all the fucking guards sitting there? Hello? There's no way. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna quick save and quick load. Well, I guess we're gonna quick save, hit the guards. And then quick load and see if that fixes it. Because it seems like their AI is just bugged. No, they're just... Oh, my fucking... Okay, game. Well, that was simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lads, I give you 
How do I? Mystical beings who live in legends. How am I supposed to do this? Imagine the power that caused me to hate. Can you guys like no one's seen them in years? My sources must remain a secret for their own protection. Who sees me anyway? It's gotta be okay, hold on. We're gonna quick save and we're gonna just try to lockpick it anyway. I'm, I'm almost sure this will give us a bounty. Yeah, so they can just see us. I'd rather die than go to prison. I'm getting out of here! This guy is such a silly game. Okay, hold on. I, I do have to see something really quick. So let's see if we can... Um, set scale... 0.95 Can I- is there a way for me to select myself? Boop Yeah, so this is me Set scale 0.95 So I think this will bring us down to the normal height because we're slightly taller than usual Okay, it really just feels like these Riften guards are just bugged out. Um, so let's let's see let's see if we set our scale even smaller if it will. Oh no, we're hidden. What? Okay, well here we go. Maybe it was the scale. I don't know. Or maybe there was just like permanently a person walking by right there. It has to be Sorry, I only have a few bottles left. I can't afford to get one. Can I afford not to? Ah, uh, okay. So it's because he's walking there? Maybe. Oh, come on. It. Uh, there's somebody who noticed. It's, it's got to be one of the guards, right? Like, right here. We're still not hidden. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Does being smaller do? Yeah. I think it's just because we're really tall that uh, we can be seen. I've done nothing wrong, guys. I promise. Um, so who's the guy we have to put it on? It's Branchy, right? Imperial dogs. There's nothing too low for them. Okay. We need to. One, we need to get our sneak up. I forgot how low it is right now. Because, Jesus. Um, Odessi's silver ring, we've got an 83% chance to place it, so. We did it. I think you got shorter since the last time I talked to you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is how tall we actually are. And then. That's how tall he had to be to actually, like. Fit behind things. And here you go. Look like a kid. Oh man. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. 
You did the job, and you did it well. I think it's just because of our character model stuff that we did as well. All right, then. Let's put that to the... The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton. A tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get that in one piece. A flagon told the Ragged Cavern. <laughs> That's poor. Dude, I don't think I'd ever, like, make it living in a medieval society. Not just because of the lack of technology, though. I would, like... I guess if I grew up without having video games, you know? I probably would have just, like, been a writer, written books. But Jesus. <laughs> I'd, I'd get so bored that... I probably would actually resort to becoming a thief, just for the fun of it. There'd be so little to do other than just read books. I guess in like... If it weren't just medieval stuff, if there was... Magic and dragons and stuff, I'm sure there'd be some other ways to entertain yourself. Anyway, um... Oh yeah, we haven't set our scale back to normal. There we go. Um... Let's give ourselves some more magicka because, yeah. Um, another speech point could be nice. Honestly, we might, <laughs> we might start putting stuff into sneak. Movement and light level sound, movement and armor weight, and skill level and distance. So we can get spot detection then. Next, the grants the tripwire power at will. Places a tripwire in front of you for 120 seconds. It snaps when tripped, knocking all targets to the floor. That's cool. Sync attacks with one-handed weapons, 100% more damage. Wait, did that say with fists? Other weapons or fists deal 25%. Okay. Oh wait, but this is this is what I already get for just standing still for a while as a uh what else? So don't trigger pressure plates, which <laughs> could have used that earlier. Oh. Cool. So we already have a mod that adds sneak attacks for spells, but the fact that that's in the uh, perk tree could make that insanely strong. We could be we could be a sneaky mage. And just know, blow it's things up. Like that. Where's my other companion? Oh. They are here. What you got? Nice steel club. That looks brutal. Jesus. I'm not a cannibal, I promise. It's a ritual. It's part of my religion. You can't sue me. Um, man, she actually has a decent bit of unique dialogue as well. I don't think I've ever had this follower. She's not part of a mod or anything either. She's just kind of here. I mean, she might be a part of mo a mod and I just don't know about it, but I don't think she is. Good old expert lockpick. Ow. My pick. So just, nope. Uh, slightly to the left. More slightly to the left than that. There. Nice. I'm a god. A luck picking genius. It's actually really funny. Normally. What was that? that? Surprised I didn't up my sneak at all. Um, normally I have all the lights off and my windows closed and stuff whenever I'm playing Skyrim because of the lighting mods I have. Uh, they make it very, very hard to see normally. But... I'm not doing that right now because it's pretty outside. I can pull the lever really quick. That wasn't very nice what you did to Banshee. It seems to your face are not as romantic as in the film. Hey, man. We say of stealing your heart for the last job. Uh, we do actually want to backtrack, backtrack a little bit here. Frozen butterfly. Uh, there is a certain guy we want to find who has a pretty cool enchantment that will allow us to fortify our unarmed. Um, I 
I don't remember exactly where he is. I think he's right here. Did my companion just... Oh, whatever. Someone there. Oh, yeah, this is one. Hello. What do you mean sneak it? Okay, I think that... Uh, that mod for uh, magic sneak attacks might be bugged. Are you... Well, you're almost dead, because you just kept walking over that pressure plate over and over again like a dummy. Garlic. Out of the way. Thank you. What the fuck? Oh. There's a door trap. I don't know. I guess my fireball must have triggered it by accident. Alright. Well, into the Thieves Guild. Away! The flagged ragged. I'm loud as you ain't sculpted my face. You're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Well, well. Call me impressed last. Call me impressed last. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few men for me? All the character things I got, they gave everybody such big glow ups. Jesus. Straight up a fucking Michelangelo painting. <laughs> Look at him. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. <laughs> A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. It's bad for business. Uh, consider it done. Good. If you need any details on your mark, yeah, I already know all the all the stuff for all of them. So, <clears throat> uh, this is where we're going to leave for today. Don't you have something that you're doing? It's a weird texture. Uh, we're going to leave. It off here. Uh, <laughs> maybe I'll have to figure out the internal stuff that's causing all these things. But uh, yeah, we started our, our home in Falkreath. Finally got that quest done. I don't know why all of those were so simplistic. But they were. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> Good point. Good point, sorry. Alright.